a beautiful, beautiful, just turned good afternoon to you all. Oh, it's been such a stormy morning and uh, a stormy couple of days that it's just so delightful to see the sun. So, I've got something, well I've got two things to share with you today but one of them is very special because I got a letter from Mark Boyle. Now, um, I'm going to read that to you. I'm going to share that with you shortly. But let me just... <clears throat> let me just pop my glasses on. Because I've just come back from the post office in Ballyfarnham posting a few more books. And... Declan, who um, has the little shop over there and who runs the post office, is absolutely delighted that I'm using the post office there because it's a much, much smaller post office than the one in Drumshambo. And it is a bit closer to Bealton the Cottage and therefore more local. And he's just delighted with the post that I'm bringing over. So, coming back from Ballyfarnham, I pulled up at the side of the cottage and I stepped out of the car into this glorious sunshine. I mean, the day just seemed to turn. It seemed to turn quite miraculously. Just from leaving to go to the post office to coming back home which took all of about 20 minutes in total. And as I stepped out of the car and came round by the side of the cottage, I cast my eyes down along the north, the north woodland here, looking north towards Kilronan Mountain. And what I noticed, I'll just, I'll just go to the side of the cottage here and just share this experience with you. It's still a little bit windy. <clears throat> okay. Oh, just to stand in the sun is beautiful. Look up there at that blue sky. Isn't that lovely? Just lovely. So I came round and I looked down and I thought, there's like a green mist. That's how I describe the greening when it begins to happen in the spring. And especially here. You see, I notice the seasons more here because of the trees. And the trees are like big clocks. I think it was Alfred Lord Tennyson who described a mature tree. He may have been referring to the oak tree as a clock that beats out the tiny lives of men. Isn't that a wonderful way of seeing it? They're here and with an oak tree it's hundreds and hundreds of years of standing there in the landscape. But as I looked round anyway, I just saw this green mist where slowly, slowly, slowly the view beyond the trees disappears and it seems to disappear into a softness, a real softness, this beautiful green and cream and yellow and Sort of sepia times, mist. Do you see it? Do you see that wonderful sort of thickening? I mean, I'm pointing towards the polytunnel now, and it was only a few weeks ago that that stood out quite clear behind those trees, and now it's slowly disappearing as buds thicken and leaves unfurl and blossom comes out.
very magical. Very, very magical. I never cease to be enchanted. There's the blackbird down there and all the little birds. So I'm writing away um, on my book and uh, going through a whole catalogue of photographs. I mean, I've got um, <laughs> how many photographs have I got? Oh. I must have fifty thousand. No. I've got photographs backed up on memory sticks, USBs and external hard drives. Just crazy amounts. Crazy amounts. Anyway, um, I'm really enjoying going through those photographs. And I know this sounds strange. It may sound strange. To you, but when I look at some of those photographs, I can't believe what I'm seeing. I feel a little bit embarrassed, as though the photographs aren't real, that I'm showing pictures to the world that are a figment of my imagination. Isn't that strange? None of it seems real. And yet it is very real. So anyway, um, I've been catching up on YouTube with um, videos that uh, are records of, of Mark Boyle's um, talks and, and uh, interviews over the past uh, couple of years, I suppose. And I thought to myself, you know, I'll send Mark a calendar. And then I thought, he probably isn't even aware of the fact that I have even start, you know, begun writing and, and that I now write. Um, and so I thought I'd send him a copy of A Cottage in Three Acres because he'd been here, he would be familiar with the photographs in it and I thought he just may be interested to see the progression and what's happening and the fact that I'm still here and so anyway I got this lovely letter back from him so I'm going to go in here to the tunnel and uh, put my camera down and then read the letter to you hmm. oh it's quite warm in here this is nice look at how wet the path is up there no, the silly old battery light is flashing. Sorry about this. So I'm going to take the letter out. <coughs> okay, this is it. Okay, so he's reused um, an envelope, which is very much Mark, very much what we should all be doing. And uh, this is the letter. Dear Colette, thank you so, so much for the calendar and books you sent. Very kind and thoughtful of you. The calendar will go up straight away and I look forward to reading the rest at first chance. 
they look great and produce so wonderfully. I've got to be briefer than I'd like as things are a little busy this end, but I just wanted to send a heartfelt thanks and to say that you are welcome here any time you like, but I know the feeling of not wanting to leave the sanctuary, and what an inspiring sanctuary it is. I loved it there. Much love, Colette, and thanks so much again. Mark. So, it is my intention, once my little book on fairies is off to the printers, um, I shall use the intervening time from when it's deposited at the printers in Carrick and Shannon until I pick it up and start posting it out. I shall use that time to make a visit to Mark if that's if that's fine with him. Check of course with him first to see that he's going to be there etc. And I am hoping to do a whole series of little interview talks with Mark and to sort of open up his world for you to see if that's going to be okay with him. Obviously I'll have to chat with him about that. And um, so that's something now which is very firmly set on the horizon of um, Bealtaine because Bealtaine of course is May. Those of you who have the calendar will see as all the as all the names of the months are all written in Old Irish and um, you will see that Bealtaine is the month of May. So I'm looking forward to that. On this beautiful day, well, this little light is flashing away, warning me that it's going to cut out at some point soon. I didn't get the chance to um, um, recharge the battery last night. But I shall recharge it now today. Just beautiful today. So, as always, it just um, is for me to remind anyone who doesn't yet know that the links, just click on the links underneath this video that will take you straight through to the website and where you can have a look at the books that are available and you can have a look at the calendar. And don't forget that there is also a blog on that website um, which I showed you the other day on the video to access the first two and a half chapters of A Cottage in Three Acres. Thank you to those of you who have supported Bealtaine and on this beautiful beautiful day I'm going to go back over to the cottage I'm going to upload this video which could take quite some time <laughs> normally takes a, um, yesterday it took two hours to load up the video um, it's almost a day's work shooting a little video but I enjoy it so I can't complain so I'll nip back over to the cottage, get this video starting to upload and I think I'll come back over here, I've got a few things to plant and also um, I want to start planting those trees, 40 days, 40 trees, whether it be in the ground or in a pot, there's going to be 40 trees on the go by the end of Lent. So blessings to you all, have a beautiful day. It certainly is a beautiful day here. Blessings to you all.